Hi everyone, this is Steve here with the Hurricane Tracker app and this is a quick video update on uh, the potential development in the uh, western Gulf of Mexico uh, within a few days here. Uh, this evening the National Hurricane Center has highlighted a new area of disturbed weather. There is a surface trough located here across the Yucatan Peninsula. It is moving off towards the west-northwest and over the next day or so it is going to emerge over the southern portions of the Gulf of Mexico and right now over the next 24 to 48 hours the hurricane center is only giving it a 10 percent chance of development right now upper level winds are uh, pretty strong out of the southwest which would uh, hinder development in the short term due to an upper level trough that's digging down here into the western Gulf of Mexico but as the trough lifts out and the system starts moving uh, more here into the western Gulf of Mexico they are notating that over the next couple of days conditions could become more favorable for something to develop. If you remember uh, uh, several days ago we had put out an alert that uh, the models were showing a low pressure forming here in the southern Gulf of Mexico and that it could be moving towards the northwest. Well the computer models had backed off on development and uh, the latest run of the GFS American model which just completed uh, a few minutes ago is back to showing development uh, so we need to pay close attention to this I think something could happen here this week uh, here's a satellite imagery of the system you can see it's uh, not organized at all at the moment it's got plenty of uh, moisture and convection associated with it and again this trough is going to continue to move towards the west northwest and uh, we'll show you what the latest computer models are showing here First off, the uh, GFS Ensemble members, which is kind of what uh, this will show what several computer models uh, as an average think. And right now they're showing an 80% chance of development here over the next couple of days in the southern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. When you see development chances this high, you really need to pay closer attention to what's going on as this is a lot of models agreeing that something could uh, potentially develop down here. The latest run of the GFS, I'll bring that up now here for you. It basically takes the system off of the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, let me turn my brush back on here. Takes it off of the Yucatan, develops it into a tropical low pressure area, moves it uh, north-northwest to the Gulf of Mexico into a tropical depression, and then maybe even a weak tropical storm as it is uh, just off the south-central Louisiana coastline as we get into uh, Saturday night into Sunday so uh, here we go July 7th we have a, a small weak tropical system located here off of southern Louisiana so this is just a few days from now again this model was showing development it dropped development now it's back to showing development when models show development this is why we let you know in the first place because a lot of times they will lose development just to come back a few days later to pick it back up again so uh, Basically with the setup we're going to have a high pressure area located here over the western Atlantic and uh, the winds around that here with the steering pattern would tend to pick the system up from the south and move it towards the north towards the western or northwestern Gulf Coast. And again this time of year with warm waters and if the upper level winds can become more favorable uh, sometimes these systems surprise us like we have with Tropical Storm Umberto uh, a few years ago. So. We'll keep an eye on this. We'll keep you updated. But if you live along the western Gulf Coast, please pay close attention to the uh, future developments down here this week uh, in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Thanks for watching and have a great day, everybody.